Hey everybody, Rocco Castellano here again with with my great friend Artelise Arredo and with another fitness marketing Instagram tip. So Artelise, what is on the on the agenda uh, today? Well, you tell me. I mean, we have so many topics to go over. Like, what what have you been? What has been coming up for you? I know that we've been going well, back and forth, and we have so much to talk about. I don't even know where to start. So you tell me because I ha I can talk all day about this. <laughs> oh, and that's and that's really the problem, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. So. so so let's talk about, you know, one thing that's coming up a lot is let's talk about your bio, like your front door, your Instagram account. That's something that I get a ton of questions about. And guys, I check, I mean, I eat, sleep, and breathe Instagram lately, and I'm on a ton of fitness accounts. You know, I have my own weight loss success account that I, I'm always in. And guys, you're not telling your clients or you're not telling potential clients where they can find you. You're not giving them any information. You're just you know, talking about yourself and, and saying what you like, but you're not giving people a way to contact you. You know, if you have meal plans, if you have your own specialty workouts, or, you know, you have a, a actual brick and mortar business where you train clients, you need to tell people where to find you. You need to either add a phone number or tell them to contact you by email or leave a link to your business. I cannot tell you how many people get caught up in the, oh, here's a selfie, and here's me at the gym, and this and that, and then I couldn't even contact him if I wanted to, and so it, it becomes a numbers game, and I really strongly suggest that you forget about the numbers, and you really, like, treat this, if you're wanting to market, you start treating it like a business, you know, um, I've seen a bunch of fitness accounts that make their account private, and I can't see it. This person says they're a personal trainer or that they have this awesome workout and check out my ebook and everything, but I can't even look at what you're offering. So guys, your pro profile and your bio is like it's your storefront. So what is your saying? You know, I look at thousands of accounts a day and it's just the ball that a lot of people are dropping and if I can't find something on your page, I'll search a hashtag and go to someone else's. If I'm looking for a, a diet ebook or how to lose 30 pounds or, you know, and you don't give me your link and you don't give me your information, guess what? Search another hashtag, find someone else that's posting about it, and they just got my sale. Well, and, and you know, so many people don't treat their their Instagram account as a as a marketing tool. If you're going to use Instagram as your marketing tool, you have to actually make it a marketing tool. So in your bio, right, and and people are are like all of a sudden afraid to put their phone number on side. If you want somebody to call you, you gotta give them your phone number. Well, no. and you know, I have a good, we're going to talk about this in one of the later things, but I, I put a Google Voice on there. Google Voice is yep. free. I can yeah. put the app, yeah. I have the app right here on my phone, and it gets all my leads. So I know that every single person that's messaged me on Google Voice, it's a lead. It's someone that wants to do business with me. So for people that say, oh, I don't want to put my phone number, there's no excuse. It's a random number that, you know, no one's going to track it to, but if you're serious about your business, people need to be able to contact you. Period. Well, if you have a website, see, a lot of people think, oh, well, I, I'll, I'll just send them to my website. Well, no. See, right then and there, it's it's the instantaneous thing that somebody can do. If, if they see a phone number, they're going to tap or they're going to, you know, call that number. They're not going to click through. I mean, they may click through to see what else you're about, but if they like what they see and they like what what you're doing on Instagram and they see the social group, they see the recipes, they see all these different things, they're going to want to call you right then and there. So, and almost, I'm going to tell you, because this is a, this is a secret like little tip that we're giving you. No one puts their phone number on their Instagram account. No one. Not even, I mean, and I used to not do it because I was like, oh, well, you know, I don't want idiots calling me all the time. Guess what? 
I you do know. want people going yeah. all the time. You know, and and I always I always say like shoot me a text. Like I I I promote a lot on my Instagram accounts, and so I always say shoot me a text at, and people are freaking out. <gasps> You know how many people are on Instagram? You just gave your account. I'm like, it's a Google Voice number. It goes. It doesn't matter. But I get a ton of texts of people saying, "Hey, what do you have?" And then I have their number because they sent me a text, so I can call them. It's like the easiest free referral system ever. I love it. <laughs> it's so funny because people get so worried. Oh my! They can track you. They can do this. They can do that. What about? You know what? If you're in business. I mean, people go, oh, well, are you afraid? I'm not afraid of shit because if you Google Rocco Castellano, guess what? You can literally find out where, where I live. Yeah. You can find out where I live. There's pictures of my house. There's You can see my dog in the, in the front yard. You know? So, yeah, I mean, you have to be aware of this stuff. But there are, you know, like I use, you know, I use a, a box for for my uh, like all my mail, you know, like uh -huh. for all my mail to be sent to, so that people can't see where I live. But if you if you get my address, you can literally see where I live. But you take precautions. Google Voice is the best thing in the world to get, and you actually can put different phone numbers, to, you know, like to track those leads. So the the Instagram Google Voice. You'll know, hey, all these leads came from Instagram. All these leads came from my website. I all have, these leads. Also, I have 94 leads right now on my Google Voice just from Instagram. Currently, today, right now, 94 leads. And had I not put that number, you know, in a couple messages, I don't have mine currently in my profile because I'm really pushing people to my website, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But yeah. I always put it in the messages. I say, hey, if you're interested, text message me. And I have 94 people that have text messaged me. So it works. It's just taking action. Well, and not to be afraid. You know, you can't be afraid to do business. Yep. That's, the, that's the message here. Don't be afraid to do business. You know, if you were out at a party and you handed somebody your business card, or you can say, oh, I, I got to scratch out that phone number so that you don't. <laughs> yeah, it's true, though. I'm telling you. Bio, your bio is your lifeline. I say this in every training I do. Your bio, your bio, your bio. You need to tell people who you are, what they can expect, what you provide. You need to give them either a phone number or an email, and you have to put your website. I cannot tell you how many people don't do that. Trust me, if you just take a few minutes to explain what you're about and let people know what you offer, your leads will not stop. I mean, there's 200 million active users a month on Instagram. You're going to get leads if you put your information out there. Well, and one of the really great things is that in our uh, program, Instagram for Fitness Pros, we actually t go step by step by step through that bio process. Because I have to tell you, last night, right, I was looking at my profile and I was like, what a stupid profile. <laughs> I, mean, I like literally said that to myself. I, I, no one's going to really look, you know, and I'm like the guy that is that is different than everybody else. So yeah. I don't I don't really look at, when I, I look at me, I'm like, okay, now there's a lot of other people that say fuck now and, and use, or you know, try to be authentic. You yeah. know, but, you know, it's funny because when I looked at my profile and my bio, I was like, this, I have to change this. So, so I was, <laughs> so all the stuff that like you, you taught me about the bio, I did. And now my bio looks totally different than everybody else's. And it's, it's, I actually look at my bio and I laugh because yeah, okay. nobody else is like mine. You and people know what to expect. They, they know, you, you know, it, it makes it stand out. When you're scrolling through and looking at people's profiles, those are the things that stand out. Something that someone that took a minute to tell about themselves and what they offer. You need to let people know what you can offer them. You need to let people know what you have available. If you have a product, if you have a, a program, if, whatever it is, you got to tell people. 
Well, and and one of the things that I did do that that I think was so important for Leeds is to, and I always tell people this, but you know what? Sometimes the cobbler's kids have no shoes. And, you know, like, you know, I can teach, you know, I've taught so many different things, and I always say this to people, but then I don't even listen to myself sometimes. <laughs> you know, well, you're like, like oh, oh, yeah, I should have I known that. Well, you know what? I wasn't thinking in my own head. I was thinking for somebody else. Yeah. Right? And the thing is, I put, I put a directive in my, you know, in my bio. So, so get the fitness, you know, like get the 10 fitness marketing tips for Instagram. So now when you say that, they click on that link and they get whatever you, you are trying to get them to opt in for or to go and see. Exactly. I have an emoji that's a finger down like this, and it right. says click below for X, Y, Z. I change it out all the time. But I'm telling you, you have to use calls to action. Click the link below. Tell them what to do. People are used to being told what to do, so do it. Say, I want you to click this link. Do it. Well, or and I, and I always say direct, don't ask. Yep. You know, Direct them to where you want them to be. That's it. Absolutely. So any any other parting tip before yeah, we Yeah, I mean, simple as this, I can guarantee that probably 90% of you listening to this don't have stuff on your bio. And the only reason I'm saying that, I'm not saying... Oh, no, I'm going to tell you 100%. I'm, gonna say, I'm not saying it's <laughs> cocky, but I'm telling you, you guys need to... If you're watching this, get off right now and go fix your bio. That's all yeah. I can say. Take action. <laughs> some calls to action and tell people what you're about. That's, that's my big tip because, like I said, I see thousands of accounts and no one's doing it. So take action. That's my tip. <laughs> you're always way too nice, man. I'm giving you – I'm telling you 100%. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Don't have it makes a huge difference, though, I'm telling you. So, guys, get off this right now and go change your bio. Click that little edit button and tell people what you're about and tell them what to do. Give them some instructions. 